how, how do you see fascia's role in regulating the nervous system and influencing mental health? I think that the, the main thing that science misses when they try to find fascia, you know, we have all these definitions of fascia. What they miss is that every one of our 70 trillion cells are embedded within the fascia. And so, as John was saying, if there are fascial restrictions, it can't get into the cell because the cell is literally embedded in the fascia. And the microtubules from the fascia go through the bilipid cellular membrane into the cytoplasm of the fascia. So everything, information, glucose, hydration, water, everything, nutrition, ideas, has to go through the fascia to get into the cell. And that's true of the nerves as well. Just to expand a little bit more on mental health too, is the physical part of it. So if so many people in our society, you know, are suffering with depression and anxiety. So we're thrown into a flight or flight response. We get stuck in it. It's stuck in that mode. It becomes exhausting. We don't sleep well. Our whole, whole life is full of stress because we don't handle it well. And that leads to depression. Your subconscious now is perceiving your world is not under you. You're in danger. More flight or flight response. Mm -hmm. So as your body is structurally returned back into balance, into openness and mobility again, and then all the pent-up emotions that solidified in your body like a weight, as they're freed up, your body can go back into rest. And that's mm -hmm. homeostasis. Mm -hmm.